Hi everybody, it's Christine Marie here. I wanna thank you so much for being a part of my newsletter. When I write the newsletter, I find that I really want to speak. <laughs> and what I do is I speak what I wanna to say to the camera and then I transcribe it and then I listen to it and take notes and then I, I, I re-speak and then I transcribe that and then I edit that and I put that into the newsletter and it feels so inauthentic to me because it's not how I roll. So I gave myself permission to do something different. I know it's called a newsletter and the intention of my newsletter is to offer tips and tricks and the downloads that show up for me to you because you have an interest. You are interested in exploring, dipping your toe into what being in feminine energy power feels like, what you might be able to access as a result of finding balance in that grid. Thank you for showing up for this. And I really hope the video is not too much of an imposition. If it is, I got you. I transcribed this video and it is in the body of the email. Today's topic is about permission. I have found that we are very happy to state our manifestations and to declare and to say, universe, bring this to me. And the universe, the simple minded universe is very happy to do our bidding. The only thing is that the universe, it, it hears the directions and then it brings the thing and it is the delivery person at the door, like ringing the doorbell with their elbow because there's nowhere to put the thing that you're wanting. There's nowhere to put it. Um, they're like, and you're like, just put it right there, just put it right there. And they're like, where? There's no room for this thing that you're wanting to manifest. I don't think that we give ourselves permission to receive. As feminine energy biased beings, most of us live in a world that is masculine energy biased. And most masculine energy biased beings are very quick to give themselves permission all the time. The idea that a woman is wishy-washy and is always changing her mind. It is, men do the very same thing, but they don't have to make an excuse for it. They just, instead of calling it changing their mind, they just say, here's a new spin on things. Here's how we're going to do it instead. I would meet you there, but instead, I want to meet you there. And we have no problem with it. But as soon as we change our mind, it's, I'm sorry, it's, ah, this might be a big problem, but this is what I need. And who I'm quoting are my clients before they have gotten into their worthiness. You do not need to do a worthiness activation with me to be able to do that. But most of us don't even realize that we're doing it. Do you give yourself permission to do something as simple as change your mind? When you manifest and you say, I want my children to respect me. And then the next time that you're on the phone, your child comes up to you and starts pulling on your clothes, tapping your shoulder or saying your, however you're referred to, over and over and over again while you're on the phone. If you go, hold on a second, what's that? That's the same as not giving permission for the manifestation to land. When you ask for it, it is received. What is that ask and it is given, Abraham Hicks? We all know this. But I, I had to learn the hard way. I can give you all of this information because I do not preach what I do not other way. I do not teach what I do not preach. Wait, 
I live what I preach. Yes, that's right. I live what I'm saying. And for me, giving myself permission means boundaries. Giving myself permission is in the small things. You've, if you've heard any of my videos, you know this quote. It is the small sections, the small adjustments in our life that beget the revolution. Small shifts for massive change. Small change for massive shift. And the question here that I leave you with, I, that I'd like you to consider, and that I'd like to hear your response to, what declaration have you made to the universe? Universe, I demand more time in my life. And what have you done to action, permission, for the universe to give that, that request somewhere to land in your life? I want more time in my life. What did you do to create more time? Not, oh my gosh, I have to create more time, let me shift things around. But literally creating more time. Ah, so it's a double tip day to create more time mindfulness. Seems counterintuitive. It's totally a thing. Mindfulness, two-handed living, two-handed living, opening the door with two hands, mindfulness. Walking into a room and saying, I am walking to this room to walk to this room. I'm going to the bathroom to go to the bathroom. I open the cabinet with two hands. I pick up the water with two hands. I pour the water with two hands. When you live with space in your life, you get more space in your life. This is why I struggle when people talk about, oh, I'm going, I can make this happen in your world. I can create, here's a great example. I can create more space in your world. And as I said that, I looked around at my home because my home, I'm obsessed with space. And so do I know how to create space? I know how to create space. Do I know how to be a good stepmother? Because it's what came into my head. I do not know how to be a good stepmother. Do I know how to be a good mother? Absolutely. I would never try to weigh in on step parenting unless I wanted to weigh in on the what not to do or how to cope as a stepmother. I can answer that question from my past experiences. And these things like finding more space, finding more time, that's, that's engaging with the feminine energy grid. Because what you're really doing is you're engaging in being. And you've seen my chart a thousand times, my chart of the feminine energy and the masculine energy, the left and the right, be, do, earth, water, sun, wind, no, yes, dark, light, fourth chakra, sixth chakra, heart, reason. We need them both, but most of us are biased in one direction. So, we work with our strengths. We're all taught to do that, and yet most of us can't give ourselves permission to even do things that we're good at because we were taught no pain, no gain. That's for them. It's not for us. When we work in our strengths, we are like the Kanye West song or whatever he calls himself now, stronger, faster, better. But we'd have to be willing to give our permission to do the life and live the life to do, to be in the life that actually enriches us, that nourishes us. And that looks like slow, fast, slower, slowing down, fast, slow, fast, slow, slow. The four menstrual phases. 
So that is my invitation for the week. I just modeled it. I gave myself permission to do a video newsletter. I gave myself permission to show up with my hair doing what it does so well. It just is, like my hair is feminine energy, it just is. <laughs> and when I let it be, I feel like my whole life changed. I had a client and she's a subscriber <laughs> to this newsletter who said, I have to admit, one of my favorite things about you is your hair. <laughs> And I thought it was the sweetest thing in the world. I had to take a journey to be able to even embrace my hair. If you ever look at my old blogs, and if you want a link, email me and I'll send it to you. I did an entire like six paragraph essay about the journey. What was it called? Finding, ah, coming home to my hair because it was such a struggle for me as a black American woman. And so now I promise I'm really wrapping up. Thank you for listening. Thank you for showing up. Check in with me, email me. I want to hear how you're giving yourself permission because even a small change can move you into magic. As the poet, Hafiz said, the Sufi poet, I spent years trying to open the door, but the door was always open. And look, Whitman just joined us. He just popped in for a minute. The door was always open. We don't know how close we are to that door. So even making a tiny shift, win, win. I wish you joy. I wish you ease. I wish you space and I wish you grace.